And hey guys, it's me Tuck. Welcome back to some more Super Mario Galaxy 2. In the last episode, we got to the cutscene before we head to the final galaxy in World 6. So, let's get to it. And I actually have vanilla coke right now that I've taken a drink. And we haven't completed Slimy Spring either, so I'll get to that um, probably another time. But right now, it's Bowser's Galaxy Generator time. And that is a cool looking Bowser statue head, I'm not gonna lie. Bowser's Fortified Fortress. I totally expected a different name when I first played this. Like it's the final countdown or something, but still, something with like final or Bowser's last stand or whatever. And there is no way Bowser can be that freaking huge and have this big of a hallway because that's just steroids to the max right there. This is a fight to save your special one, Mario. Be careful out there and don't give up no matter what. Thanks for the message, buddy. This way. Not really. We're going to head this way instead. Because of a health mushroom, which I will desperately need. I'm not going to lie. I've played this galaxy multiple times and I still struggle to stay alive sometimes. So yeah. Go get them. Okay. Here we go. This is actually a pretty lengthy stage, I guess you could say. At least it is for me, honestly, because... I, don't, I just don't know why. They just It's just lengthy. I mean, that's pretty much all you can say as I randomly destroy Hammer Bros and get a flower to appear. The single bit of life on this planet, or not planet, ga well, planet on here. But galaxy, I think that is the only flower you'll see in this galaxy, or any kind of life whatsoever. Anyways, avoid these, and head on down. Use the spin drill to drill through here. Pretty, pretty, um, straightforward. I had to pause for a moment. I couldn't think of the word. Check. Oh, checkpoint. To the max. Anyways, to get rid of these bonsai drills, you can just drill into them like that. And yeah, I totally went the wrong way. We totally drilled through your face. We did not deserve this. What is that? That's bullcrap. We'll just break the level and head through here. I don't even think you need the spin drill for this, honestly. Because you can just break the level and get across. It's pretty easy. Anyways, go through here. And here's the star. Random black hole. They put black holes in the most, ran ran most random areas in here. I don't know why, either. And the one part I hate with a burning, undenying... Okay, good. Passion. I just hate this place because the lava and the dry bones and you have to, do, you have to use these stupid cloud flowers. Well, they're not stupid, but they're annoying here. You have to use them to get down and around and all this fun stuff. I just hate it. I just, ugh. Awful. And we just totally missed. And if a bullet bill runs into you, there goes your precious cloud flower. And if you get hit, you fall down to the bottom and feel utterly awful at the game. Not really, but still. Oh god. We're just gonna sit and wait. Good thing the bloom is actually generous and probably heard a belt. My bad. I kind of have to hang my arm over the bedpost because I just can't sit here and aim. Usually doesn't work out that way. Is that a wall? It was a ceiling. There's the floor. Kind of reminds me of Mario Party in some kind of way. I don't know why. Come back. You're alive. That's really crappy because you're annoying. And Yoshi's here. We lost our cloud power. Dang it. I died at the Yoshi part, and that really made me wonder why I was so badly at dying. And we just made Yoshi burn in lava. 
That's awful. I wish I could attack fire pillars because I would turn that one to ice and then break it. Because that's just awful. Anyways, here's the part where I died. I got smashed up between these two flame walls because I was too late to grab the dash pepper because I ran back and I waited because I thought something was supposed to happen. But I managed to survive here. I don't know how, but I did. And here's another life room. I'm surprised we didn't need ours. I'm gonna head this way. Oh crap. And Blargs are here. Of course, Blargs have to be here. I hate you. And don't forget the Comet Metal right here. Although it's pretty obvious to see where it is, but still. You can never... Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Oh crap. No. Oh my god. Well, I died. <laughs> and it puts me way back here. I just won't cut it. It's not that it's not that far of a distance. Unless I fail horribly again, then I'll just cut it to then, but oh well. We'll just speed run through this. Hopefully I don't fail again, because that was ridiculous. I swear, if there was like a daredevil version of this, I would not survive. Would not survive at all, because... I, st I just still have problems with this galaxy. I don't know why. I just do. Alright, let's try this again. Thanks you for... Thanks you. Did I just say thanks you? Thank you for the health shroom, random. Thanks you, what the crap. Oh well. Oh, I hate blargs. They make me want to... Never want to go to lava stage again. Okay, without failing this time, let's actually get... I didn't pay attention to where the floor was going, so I kind of failed there badly. I, I kind of didn't expect that, so the game kind of tricked me there, but this time we made it. And now it's going to make like a stairway to Bowser's statue here, with two Lumas awaiting us. And ten years later, finally, we have faith that you'll beat that monster, Mario. Uh, you will rot. Nice faith. This is as far as we go. We're all counting on you, Mario. And since Yoshi can't shimmy up a pole, we have to leave him, and he waves. How Yoshi-ish. There is a glitch, but I'm not going to do it, because I don't know how. I've seen videos on it, and I've tried. I just can't do it. I don't know why. But as we break these... Um... Well, I don't really know what to say, but... Since we've broken them already, let's just move on and face Bowser for the final time, maybe? Who knows? What time we got into this? Eight minutes? Okay. Epic stare off. Gah! Give it up already. Won't you stop trying to mess up my awesome master plan? I'm building my new galactic empire right here, and you can't stop me. Why don't you just run off and go find some green pop to hide in? You're a hater. That's what you are. Only reason you're saying that right now to us is because you use steroids to get incredibly huge. And just because you think that you're all that, you can talk Mario like that. That's not cool. Anyways, can't you see that I'm busy? Whoa. Cut this short? No. That's not cool. You know your fat win. Jeez. He knocked Mario like straight off the ground. Anyways, Bowser will now do that as his punch. No more hoops. A straight on line. And it's not really that difficult to face him on here, honestly. Although we probably will fail a couple of times since we have before. 
the hoops are here, though, when the meteorites land. And he's really quick this time, too. Forgot to mention that. Although, you, that's what you kind of expect through every boss. I almost got punched. I don't think you get entirely flattened when you get punched, and it's not like a thwomp. Oh, crap. But still... Usually I wait until he, like, pulls his fist out because that's when he, like, exposes his body, which is the weak point, since if you hit the shell, it'll just rebound. So I just wait. And that's been helpful ever since I've done that. Don't know what your method is, if you've played this already, but this is my method. Oh boy, here comes the fire. Fire. Country accent kicking in. It's always with the eyes, I don't know why. Oh, right in the hand. I bet that hurt. Oh well. Oh my god, okay. We made it. We serve. Oh my god, that's what happens when you try to go between two conveniently placed circular meteorites. You get stuck. And we are done? Yes, we're done. You lost your steroids. Sucks for you. And he falls into the pits of hell. No, not really. Just like random void. That's all it is. It's always a void. And here is the Grand Star. But where is Peach? This doesn't feel right. Surprise. That was the worst surpriseness thing ever. And apparently he's already, like, halfway there to being huge, even without the star. What the heck? Hey, guess what, Mario? Breathe a sigh of relief, because it'll be your last. You know why? Because this is finally the end. The end of you. One more battle. Kind of expected this. Anyways, Bowser will randomly spin around and just stare off in the distance at you, and we just hit him right in the foot. I'll wait a bit and see, and let y'all see what happens when he gets closer. He'll slowly advance his way towards you, and he takes forever because he's a grandma like that. Okay. Come on, Bowser. When he finally gets close enough, he'll come and punch you. So we're just going to stop him right there. And that's how he attacks. That's the only way. And the music here is pretty epic, so I'll just pause for a moment and you listen to it. So much for letting you listen to it, because it only takes like three hits, but still. Roar. My power's gone. My empire shrinking. My huge cake. Never got a slice. Peach could have poisoned that cake. I'm pretty sure if she has one-up mushrooms, she has poison mushrooms. Because it's Peach, and she's just like that. But anyways, that is finally the end of Bowser, and... There's Peach. Of course, using the Grand Star as a rod to Mario and the Master Luma. I'm used to her wearing like sports shorts because I played. I'm playing Mario Sports Mix now too, so <laughs> it's kind of weird seeing her in a dress now. But anyways, before we get the star, I just want to do this. There's random star bits down here, if you're a star bit whore like me, and you just want to collect them constantly. Thank you. And she sounds different sometimes. Of course, she doesn't do that when I show you, but okay. And here's the final Millennium Star. You can see reflections on it, which is cool. Let's go ahead and grab it, because let's keep du durable time here. And Peach gets to pose with us. 
And we got a grand star. Oh, it's so beautiful. What you staring at? It's a comet. Isn't that the comet at Bowser's face in, last, in the last video? Either way, it makes the comet observatory. Shocker. <laughs> I know. Triangle, triangle, X, triangle, X, triangle. Half and half and exclamation point. I always thought we would meet again. Why can't you just speak like Lubba? Speak English. Not PlayStation. Jeez. And there's Rosalina. Mama, there you go. You know some English. I am Rosalina, no shocker. I watch over and protect the cosmos. I've been waiting for all of you. When that evil monster took our star power, I was separated from my precious little one. But I knew we'd see each other again. Because, corny moment, there is a force that binds us, defying even time and space. Not even the laws of the universe can stop it. I knew its gentle pull would prevail. Why does she always keep her eyes closed? I ask random questions between the quotes because I just do that. I don't know why. Anyways, it is the desire to be reunited with someone who is important to you. That pull is what brought us together. And you finally open your eyes. We have come through so much to meet again. This is not some mere whim of the stars. I am sure of that. Mario, thank you for returning this child to me. I will never forget you. Well, thank you, Luma. Even when I someday become a star myself, I will never forget you, Mario. Never, ever, I won't forget. What about our hat? Oh, well. Would that kind of hint at a Super Mario Galaxy 3? Who knows. Anyways, may the stars shine down on you. Her quote. And they put overdrive on that badass comet, and they're out of here. So the little one was reunited with his special someone. At least Lubba broke the awkward moment there. And you too, pal, am I right? Indeed, breaking the awkward moment. Alright, you two, it's time to get you back to your home planet. That was so random. Anyways, that is what happens after you beat Bowser. And... The end of the cutscene. But that is not all. Every game has credits. And I like how it moves in time with the music. That's just the thing that I liked, honestly. But throughout the credits, there's going to be like random screens that show up that you can maneuver on, and I'll be doing that too, just to pass time by. This project is far yet from over, though. Even though you won't be seeing the credits here at the very end, you, won't, you probably won't be seeing the credits at all. This is the only time you'll probably see them. Well, there may be another time, but that depends on voting. But I won't get into that. Right now you'll see some of the credits, and then finally it'll show you um, a random screen you can go on. Here they go. Here they are. You can collect star bits, jump around. No spin attack though, since you've lost your Luma and your hat. I'm pretty sure the hat didn't depend on if you needed them or not. And you'll just keep moving from thing to thing, and here's Peach and Jibber Jays, and I don't like Jibber Jays, so why are they over here? But oh well. You can die on the credits. I might want to mention that. I would show you 
but I think I'll do that later if you all want to sh do the um, credits again. There is one time where you can die, it's right here. N you need a B suit, though, so keep that in mind. Push a snowball around. It's like Billy Hatcher and the John Egg all over again because you had to do a level where you had to build a snowman. And I really like that game, so yeah. Let's push it towards the screen. Aw, oh, dang it. That's just depressing. This is where we first met Yoshi, and we have to jump on him to get on him, apparently. So I hope you all enjoyed seeing this again for Project Revival. Um, for those of you who have, you know, been subscribed to me long enough to know that I've did this without any commentary at all. And we can eat you. But we can't. We'll just wake you up. You're still asleep. Oh well. And there's the green one way over there. And here's Bowser. See, this is what happens when you take steroids, people. Learn well that you turn into a little shrunken lizard thing. And, you know, Yoshi's taller than you, even Mario's taller than you, and he's like a little midget, so... Hopefully Bowser learned his lesson here. And I always like this part right here because I think this is... No, never mind, I'm not going to get into it. I might say something really stupid. And finally showing ourselves on the screen, Starship and the Comet. Very good credits. The end. Not really, but still. <laughs> he always sounded so weird whenever he said that, like in every other game. So weird. You open Special World. There is a Special World, for those of you who don't know. And a message hub will be sent to the Wii board, and the game has been saved. So, since the game has been saved, and it won't take like a few seconds to load, I might as well show you what the message is as the Wii menu loads. I'm so lazy. <laughs> Instead of just like skipping to it, but it'll load. Just give it a minute. Or not, you know. Okay, here we go. Today, where's my galaxy? Here we go. Dear, dear, dear. <laughs> so funny. Dear, oh, oh, tuck, oh, oh. Congratulations, you completed Super Mario Galaxy 2. We applaud your hard work. Thanks for playing Super Mario Galaxy 2 staff. P.S. See you in Special World. Playtime 9 hours, 43 minutes, and 55 seconds. And here's your picture. They're on that planet with all the flowers. It's pretty cool, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to delete this picture either. I'm just keep it. So yeah, thanks to you all for watching Super Mario Galaxy 2, and um, this is definitely not the last episode, I can assure you that. The next episode, we'll be checking out that special world, so yeah, once again, thanks to you all for watching, and I'll see you all then.